Hey, this is Jamie from CapsuleComputers.com, and today we have the Razer Carcarius headset here for review. The Carcarius is a type of sand shark actually related to the great white shark. Uh, they, they are in the same genus, genus, but they are a slightly different species. I actually had to go learn this because I was looking at it and I was thinking, oh my gosh, I am going to butcher the pronunciation. I don't want to do this again, so I actually went and tried to find a proper pronunciation, and that was the closest I could find, but I read some interesting stuff about sand sharks. But hey, you're not here to listen to me ramble and rant about sand sharks, so let's get straight to the review and the unboxing. All right, so this has a really nice tab here to help lift the uh, lift the plastic bit up. I really appreciate this touch. Uh, it's supposed to rip, but hey, whatever works, right? Usually, I have to bring out my knife to open these packages because I'm a little clumsy and probably slightly crazy about having nice, neat cuts. So. This headset is a stereo headset. It's an over-the-ear type, so it'll clamp. It'll clamp completely. If this was your ear, let's say, then it would, the headset would clamp and go around, around and over your ears. This is. It's usually good for uh, a little bit of extra isolation if you're playing in a noisy environment. Uh, this headset is now compatible with the Xbox 360 and the PC. So let's just put this aside here. And get into the, this packaging. There's a, it's a box in a box. I really won't make, I'll spare you the inception jokes. I think I'm quite sick of them too, I'll admit. So you can already see that it's most likely an open headset with the, uh, the mesh covering here. Uh, doesn't look like there is. Oh, it actually may be a closed headset, actually. It looks like there's plastic behind the mesh. The mesh is just there for uh, visual looks, and you can see the... Uh, over here already, you can see the... I guess you would call it the uh, inline controls. Alright. Okay, let me see... Alright, so we seem to try and need to get this out here. Looks like there are some twist ties and down the back inside. You probably can't see it in the camera, it's black on black, so I'm just going to get this out as quickly as possible so we can continue on with some uh, first impressions. Okay, how on earth am I? I guess I'm supposed to pull it out the other way. I can't say I'm a huge fan of how well packed this is. This, all this fiddling around actually is kind of making me a little nervous with the amount of, uh, I guess, tension that this kind of puts on the... I've already seen, like, right here take a few... Uh, I guess, like, twists, not twists, uh, bends, yeah, bends, that's the word I'm looking for. That makes me a little nervous with the amount of bend, bending that takes, but I suppose if it can survive, if it can survive the average gamer, then a few bends at, at that stress point shouldn't really matter too much, but I tend to be a little paranoid with my headphones. So let's get all this uh, stuff to the side. Alright, so let's see, we've got our usual Razer packaging with the traditional Razer sticker right here, and a short letter from the Razer guy, and we got our instructions, warranty information, and whatnot. 
One thing I did notice when I opened, right opened this box, this thing fell right out, which is these two bits, which is really nice. This will allow you to plug it into your 360, no matter what style 360 you have. In the past, a lot of, I don't think actually any 360 headphone I've reviewed so far on the market actually comes with one of these. I would always have to uh, purchase one of these separately to make sure that for my old Xbox 360 Elite that the headset will will uh, fit since I'm using an HDMI cable at this point. This and this one will work in tandem with this one to get this plugged into the 360. So this just goes into the back. This plugs these two bits plug in here and then there is a Xbox 360 chat cable that's this one right here and a plug for the Carcarious to plug in here. Let's open this up right here, and you can see the cabling. Let's see. This one looks so it's we have it's not the plugs it's the uh, jacks it's the plugs themselves are labeled. This one will be for your microphone, and this one will be for your headphone. And then this will go into your USB. Take a look at the uh, the inline control unit. So we have oh, this one's backwards. This one will be controlling your volume for your game, and this one, if you can get it to focus, there we go, for your voice. And then on the other side, we have the input for the 360. Oh, this is backwards again. Input for the 360. So it looks like we have a variable bass boost and a mute switch over here. Let's see, let's clear this out a bit. Clean this up. Alright, so so far this is actually a really light headset. And we have a swiveling boom mic here, so it looks like it just swivels and with a small, it just pivots on this edge here. Alright, so that is that. Let's uh, skip forward to the review. Alright, and we're back with Razer Carcarius. You're going to have to mind the uh, the mess of the cables. I actually wanted to have this plugged into my computer so you guys could see the uh, lights on the side of the headset in traditional Razer green. Anyways, so think there are things about this headset that I like and there are things about this headset I'm not too fond of. For an Xbox 360 headset, this is a very solid headset at a, ve at a very good price. As a PC headset, however, there's this the, the headset struggles a little. The sound quality is good for is actually very good for for the, for the price of 69.99 US dollars. You're not going to exp at this price, you're not expecting the world. This headset has excellent bass reproduction the highs do a pretty good job it's the mids that are actually that struggle a little and i see this a lot with a lot of razor headsets so i'm not particularly surprised by this but as i said for 69.99 you're not expecting the world and for the price point this sounds very good razor headsets do tend to excel with bass heavy music and the carcarious is no different the headset does come with a base control. The level goes from, the level actually can go from really, really light and anemic on the base to brain shatteringly heavy to the point you can barely hear anything else. I found that using somewhere in the middle actually provided a very nice balance that made music very pleasant to listen to. But of course, for some things, you know, you can always just push it a little higher, or for some other things you can push it a little lower. I liked this feature quite a bit. The two volume the knobs, one is for, let's see, one, as you can see here, one is for voice and one is for game. Um, this only act, you can switch it independently, however this only works for the Xbox 360 or a PC that has an Xbox 360 controller plugged in. If you're connecting it just through the two 3.5mm mini jacks, you're not going to be able to control things independently. 
the microphone switch, I really like this. Most most microphone switches you get, you'll just get it like this. You, it's either on or you see a little bit of red, it's off. The Razer one, however, if it's on, you can get a nice green light and it's off. It turns off and the light turns off. I really like this, especially when you're gaming in a dark room. It's nice to be able to just look down and know, oh, okay, I'm either my headphone is muted or not. Instead of trying to turn on a light or squinting to see if this is a color of red. The headset quality itself has a little bit... There's a problem with Xbox 360 headsets at this price range. No matter what, you're going to need an inline amp to run one of these. However, at this price range, you're going to have a you are going to hear a background hiss. The X with the Carcarius, these are one of the louder Xbox 360 headsets at this price range I've experienced. It's not so loud that you, if you're listening to music or you're playing a, a, a particular, I guess, a very particularly action-packed video game, or actually most video games in, in general, you're not going to notice it. You're only going to really notice it when the the there is either no sound playing or you're maybe listening to watching a movie and it's a bit of a quiet scene and you're just there's no background music. You're just hit, hearing two people talk to each other. Then you're definitely going to notice that there is a very very good amount of hiss in the background. As I said, considering at this price point, you are going to get a little bit of hiss no matter what headset you deal with. It's just a matter of it's 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 just a matter of you get what you pay for in in this sense. However, as I said, for this price point, it is a little noisy. So if you are looking for a PC only headset, I would recommend trying out something a headset that is dedicated just for PC so you can avoid this noise problem. However, if you're just looking for an Xbox 360 headset or a, or a PC and Xbox 360 headset that you can go switch between them, your choices kind on this background hiss get a lot slimmer. I was able to give the microphone a try to on Xbox 360 the microphone is good. There it comes through clearly, it's a good volume, but this microphone kind of struggles once you start hitting the PC. With the PC, I notice that there's a very loud, high-pitched noise whine. It's not, it doesn't overpower your the actual, whatever the microphone's picking up, but it's very, very obvious. I'm going to actually put a demonstration of the Razer Carcarius uh, microphone at the end of this video so you can hear what I'm talking about. It is very noticeable, and a lot of people on TeamSpeak were telling me that they'd prefer it if I could switch to another mic because it really was that annoying. I also noticed a very, I also noticed a background hiss with this microphone, similar to the hiss you would get listening to the headset. Um, to be honest, the back, that high pitched whine was just so distracting. I couldn't even notice. I wasn't really actually hearing the hiss unless I was, I was focusing for it. I have a feeling the reason why the Xbox 360 doesn't suffer from the same problem is because that the codec quality for the Xbox 360 is a lot lower and people tend to use those really crappy one ear or Xbox Live headsets. So I don't think most people will notice. But as I said, if you are a PC, heavy PC user, this is something you may want to consider. I liked the length of the, the length of the microphone it stayed out of the way and it wasn't it was far enough that you wouldn't it wouldn't be right in front of the mouth so when you hear things like the p noise you won't get that really annoying popping sound that I'm trying to actually avoid doing right now the ear cups i found were extremely comfortable the heads because the headset is so light i could wear it for hours at a time it wasn't a big issue this upper head padding here very comfortable and I found the only thing I did notice is that these ear cups are kind of shallow. I found that my ears would press against the back, the I guess this this back inside portion of the the earphone, the, sorry the headset. Uh, if you got real ears that really stick out, this this may be something you might want to be careful for. But as I said, the headphones are so light, you're not really going. It's not really going to be particularly annoying. So overall, I give this headset a 7.0 capsule out of a possible 10. 
if I recommend Xbox 360 users and Xbox 360 and PC users who plan on using the same headset, this is a headset phone you definitely want to check out, especially if you are on a tight budget. However, if you are strictly a PC gamer, I would recommend checking out a PC-only headset simply because of the problems with the high-pitched whine in the microphone and the really apparent the really apparent background noise of the inline amp. If you want to find out more about these headsets, scroll on down and check out my full written review at www.capsulecomputers.com. This is a demonstration of the microphone on the Razer Carcarius.